This video is made for adult collectors because I don't like this toy. Human Alliance remains one of my favorite lines and my favorite short-lived line. They all feel great. Plastic and tolerances are on point on all of my figures. A couple of hiccups here and there, but the concept is really cool. You get a fully transformable robot to car toy with the ability to hold a person in the seats and actually come with a person. What's not to like? Well, this thing. <laughs> Leadfoot looks outstanding in car mode. I like this. It's such a nice car. It's just a NASCAR stock car and it doesn't have all the guns on it. And honestly, I like that more than the gunned out version. It's crisp and clean. Nothing sticks out. Everything fits together so incredibly well. The deco and the logos all over the car, are actual brand logos that exist in real life too. So that's really nice to see. I also especially like the black stripe and I appreciate the silver spoiler. They could have easily just kept that red, but no, nah, they actually painted it and I appreciate that. There is a plain version of this for the non-target exclusive version, but I'm not the biggest fan of the unpainted one. I might pick it up at some point just for the car but only if i find it really cheap being a human alliance toy you can open the doors and put a human in it which is nice as fuck i don't have the actual person this comes with it's a red race car driver nor do i have the steel jaw who turns into his gun which is a really neat feature actually but that's all the car does really now let's get into the whack shit about this toy oh this thing's transformation makes me want to poke my eyes out with a blast effect all right so Oh man, the instructions suck and me trying to walk you through it is probably going to suck too. So let's just, let's just transform it and talk about how bad it is. That honestly is actually quite satisfying, but that is literally the only satisfying part about this conversion. Leadfoot's design is so inherently like flawed and strange that trying to make it into a toy that you also have to seat a human in it doesn't really work here. Ah, I forget it. It just doesn't quite work as well as one would hope. It's a nice attempt, I will say. But, yeah, it's, it's, nah. Like, getting all these panels out and uh, you get all this stuff and then you gotta move things out of the way to just get the arms out around the door. There we go. Oh! Okay, so now that we have that, we're gonna rotate the waist. Then you want to, oh, I don't like that. Those are clear plastic, you can't see that. Those are clear plastic tabs and I'm, I don't like that at all. And then you gotta like clip this in, which is very stiff. Oh, I don't like that either. And then rotate this around like so. Just bring it up. Move all this crap out of the way to bring this up and shift it back. Eh. Clip it in. That clip doesn't feel the nicest either. We'll just bring the, the Human Alliance guns out. Come on. Oh, I ripped one off. Come on. There we go. Once you get that all out, now you can bring the... Oh. Now you can bring the shoulders back. Then you gotta bring the doors up, fold out his little PP. There we go, and tab it in. And by tab it in, I mean just slide it in that slot there and hope that it fits. And then you peg this in. And the entire torso section is literally just being held in by that. And I wish this was more secure, but it isn't. It's just that, and that's annoying. So you get all this folded down, bring out the really loose legs. Come on, fold that in. Bring up the world's most useless heel. Now the official instructions have you do the chest like this, and then you would just sort of rotate the arms down like that. Eh. And then, yep, bring up the head. And that's the official conversion. That looks terrible, come on, no. No, I am going to fold these inward. 
I'm going to bring this up slightly. Then I'm going to fold these up, bring the wheels around, fold up the chest plate, not all the way, just up to there. Bring these back down again and then bring this, not that way, this way, forward a bit more to sort of give that like split target logo look because I do think that looks really cool. And then bring the arms back down. And that's how I do the gut section. That's a combination of both the way T Fan Page did it and a couple other things I saw online about it. But yeah, that's uh, that's Leadfoot. I hate it. Robot looks like shit. <laughs> it uh, the ass chest design, the weird gut proportions, the gorilla arms—it just turns me all off. I try to make the gut look better on my figure, but it's still not great. The Studio Series one, I think, does the best job out of any Leadfoot toy we've gotten. The reason the gut is designed that way is because there's a slot to fit a human to to sit in there and use the guns, but it does ruin the look of the toy. And he also has those goddamn gorilla arms. Why? I hate it. There's a lot of nice tooling, but it gets lost in these weird colors of the toy, like the weird colors it's been cast in. There are different plastic colors, and I assume they're there so that he doesn't look super boring being all one gray color, but they aren't different enough to make sense, and they look off. I posted a picture of this on Twitter, and somebody thought it was yellowing. No, that's how it's supposed to look. He's also full of hollow gaps on the side if that bugs anybody. Like if you're not a fan of hollowness, you won't like that. He has a flip out visor, which is a really cool feature that I like them adding to the Human Alliance toys, but the face underneath looks really terrible. And like he's seen something he should not have seen nor will ever talk about. I do like how all the car bits are hanging off in multiple places. It makes it feel like a transformer more than Roadbuster who just looks like a mess. Articulation is meh. It's awkward, mostly. The feet aren't really big enough or stable enough to keep him standing. The arms are so wonky that it becomes hard to get them into any sort of good looking pose other than standing still. And my figure's toes love to fold up so much that you get him into a pose and he'll fall over. And the little bits of detail on top of the feet also keep folding up. It's just not a fun experience. I think the feet needed to be designed better. The torso's weight distribution should have been done a little bit better as well to keep him stable and he should have proper elbows, or at least wrist swivels, because those gorilla arms are just yucky. It's not a great figure. Like, I wouldn't recommend it unless you're like me and you want to get one of every Human Alliance mold. And if you do get it, used for like 20 bucks is what I would say is the max. I mean, if you want this just for the NASCAR, because it's a really cool looking stock car, just go buy a car, like a toy car. Don't buy the figure for that. It's You're not getting... A good bang for your buck with this thing i find because it's just so flawed and it's in its main selling point which is the robot mode but that's been my look at human alliance leadfoot follow me on twitter and instagram and i'll see you next time Bye bye <laughs>